Ready when you are. In three, two, and she did it. She made herself into a kingmaker. She traveled all over the country and helped bring people in the Tea Party movement into the U.S. House and into the U.S. Senate. I remember watching her on television de debating Karl Rove, who is as establishment and mushy and treacherous as you can get. And her saying, oh, Carl, with that flippant, dismissive, Carl, you're a good little boy, but you don't know what you're talking about. It was a blast to watch then, and it's going to be wonderful to watch now. My wife is a, just a, 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 almost a fanatic Sarah Palin fan. And really and truly, what's not to like? Sure, they're human. Sure, her and her husband have probably had some struggles. Who is married and hasn't had struggles? Sure, she's got kids who have gotten into some trouble. Who has older kids that have not gotten into any trouble? In other words, this is a real human life drama story. One of the problems that we face in the Christian world, especially in the evangelical world, is that we want our heroes to be flawless. But we have to remember that they're porcelain. They have feet of clay. So when we look at the faults of any of our candidates, remember ourselves. In fact, one of the passages in the scripture says that. When you find somebody who stumbled in the sin, restore him with the spirit of gentleness, remembering yourselves, lest you too be tempted. So, yes, the Palin family has had its difficulties, but Billy Bob and I were talking off the air today. In the evangelical world, who is a bigger political rock star than Sarah Palin? I, I can't think of anyone. If you would like to email us, go to our website and email me who you think could be a contender with Sarah Palin, who is not running for president now. Even if you took those who are running for president now, who have some following in the evangelical community, Rick Santorum, he's no Sarah Palin. Rand Paul, no? I mean, where do you turn? So, when I watched the endorsement, I thought this is going to be devastating to Ted Cruz's campaign. Devastating. Because Sarah Palin gives the final good housekeeping seal of approval, her stamp of approval, her maternal, happy stamp of approval goes to Donald Trump for the evangelical world. So do we have time, Billy Bob, do we have time to play that clip? All right, let's play the clip and you'll see what all the hubbub is about. Are you ready for a commander in chief? You ready for a commander in chief who will let our warriors do their job and go kick ISIS ass? secure our borders, to secure our jobs, and to secure our homes. Ready to make America great again. Are you ready to stump for Trump? So she is ready to stump for Trump. And she made that little comment at the beginning about kicking the behind of ISIS. And that shows something about this election cycle who, that was not present four years ago with Romney. It certainly wasn't present four years ago with McCain and Palin. And I, I wanna discuss that when I come back. And I'm going to tell you who I believe is going to win the Republican nomination and what I believe about the Democratic nomination. Don't go away, I'm Randall Terry. This is Voice of Resistance.